Hey there, YTPC, New Jersey Piper Ben here. Today I got my Night of the Living Dead Girl shirt. That's uh, Kyra Sean. She was the uh, little zombie girl from Night of the Living Dead that uh, got turned and ended up killing her mom with a uh, garden trowel. And probably the most horrific scene in the movie, if you think about it. Poor girl killing her mom. Well, of course, at that point, she really wasn't a girl anymore. She was an undead zombie, so, you know, there's always that. <clears throat> so I wanted to uh, break in my LCS pot. Got to cover my face so it'll focus. <laughs> Lucky for you guys. <laughs> really gorgeous pipe and I've got some uh, GLP's Quiet Nights loaded up and Quiet Nights is the second in the old London series the first being Chelsea Morning I believe but um it's Virginia Orientals Latakian Perique just a smidgen of Perique not a lot it's it's uh, I'd say it's a more Latakia forward blend for sure, definitely more than Perique. Uh, I don't have Chelsea Morning, but I read that Chelsea Morning has a little bit more Perique than this and probably a little bit less Latakia, therefore. So, uh, actually makes me want to try Chelsea Morning. I'll have to put that in the, uh, put that in the wish list. And also have a, uh, a new lighter. I've been itching to get a butane lighter. And I was kind of considering... A Corona old boy but I kind of got convinced to get one of these which is a uh, a Karibi Takara this is a black nickel probably my favorite finish which is why I got it <laughs> um, but the one thing I was kind of curious about so want to operate with your with your uh, right hand which is how I would operate a, uh, a lighter or a zippo so I would, it would be nice to have the flint roller over here, but it's right here. So you can, you know, light it with your forefinger, or you can kind of adjust it to get it over to your thumb. Uh, so that's why I was kind of asking about that. I think I asked Mike on one of his live streams about it. It's not that big of a deal. But it's one of the reasons why this lighter can't really be considered perfect in my view. Because I have to manipulate it to get it lit, then turn it back around, then light my pipe. If I was left-handed, it would actually be ideal if I lit my pipe with my left hand. But I don't. So, you know, not, not the end of the world. But, but I love the design of the pipe. I love the finish. Um, I love the color. So yeah, really, really enjoy it. And I'm sure I'll get used to using it. But, um, eh, it's about, um, it's about 50 bucks cheaper than the old boy I would have gotten if I'd gotten an old boy. So I felt a little bit more comfortable going through with this one. Let me do a test draw. A little bit, not too bad. Okay. I can already tell right off the bat the draw on this pipe is incredibly smooth. Mm. 
<sighs> Onion paws. Quiet Nights is really good. If you like, if you like English blends, really smooth, balanced English blends with a, a good amount of Latakia. It's not a Latakia bomb, but it's a it's a it's a healthy amount of Latakia. In my opinion, like more than Maltese Falcon but less than like Gaslight. If you're, you know, in the sort of GLPs uh, blends, which I tended to gravitate towards when I first started looking at tobaccos. I was kind of commenting like that on uh, Luke AA Pipe Man's last video. He got bombed by Stonehenge Minstrel from the UK and um, got a lot of great tobaccos, but I was talking about the, the horrible artwork on the, uh, the UK tobaccos where they, you know, show you the ill effects of smoking, but they can't distinguish between smoking two packs of cigarettes a day for 50 years and, you know, not inhaling pure pipe tobacco. And I get it, you can't, it's, it's really hard to legislate nuance, you know, or include nuance in legislation, but it's still kind of silly. And it's sad, because, you know, Luke was talking about how great the packaging and the artwork is on, on pipe tobacco, and he's absolutely right. So I kind of mentioned when I first just started perusing smoking pipes and uh, looking at tobaccos, you can't help but get drawn to the to the artwork that Cornell and Deal does. Um, you know, it's just uh if you're if you're kinda starting from scratch, you know, and you start seeing those that, that cool tin art that they do, then you know it's it's it makes sense. But yeah, just, um, I'd be curious, you know, to know the, I don't know if there's maybe been an article that Smoking Pipes has done, uh, for their website, or just if there's like a, sort of a history of Cornell and Deal graphic design, like if there was some, maybe there was one graphic designer that they commissioned for all those, and, you know, they told him about the tobaccos, and he just came up with options, you know, did... Did somebody have to approve it? Did he have carte blanche to do whatever he wanted to? I'm, I like stuff like that because again, I'm a packaging guy. I'm a packaging engineer by profession, so I don't I don't do artwork directly myself. I don't create artwork, but I assist in the process of creating artwork because I basically am responsible for the die line, which is the template upon which artwork gets applied. And before we're allowed to actually release any artwork and order it from a printer, I have to approve it because there's certain parts of the artwork that I have to make sure are correct so that there's not any issues. So I see a lot of artwork. But, uh, you know, it's, it, there's definitely creativity there, but nothing, nothing like the range of different artworks that are used for, for pipe tobacco, for sure. Because, you know, I've... I, my company makes very specific products, so, you know. And in my opinion, none of them are as interesting as pipe tobacco. <laughs> Simon, great job on this pipe, man. It's smoking really, really well. Somebody commented on the video of this pipe and they were like, the opening's too big. It's not going to smoke well. And <laughs> I'd beg to differ. 
<laughs> it's smoking damn good. Just a hint of sweetness on those Virginias. Just very tiny little hint of sweetness. But it's uh full bodied English. That's its uh that's the uh the MO here for sure. And again, just like super duper smooth. Like you would I was just watching uh Full Doddle's video of uh Winchester was talking about how that cabin dish gives it that just velvety thick smoke and, and mouthfeel and you know you would think this had Cavendish in it for the same reason but it doesn't but it does have a, a nice velvety finish for an English blend for sure but I've always I've always gravitated to GLP's blends I really think uh, I think he knows what he's doing for sure and I've got quite a few tins I need to open I didn't want to try anything new with this pipe because I kind of wanted a new. I kind of wanted to know what to expect with my my first smoke of it. So, broke out the old Quiet Nights tin, which I've had since, since September of last year, and I'm happy to report I've kept it in the tin, which has that you know plastic lid, and um, it has maintained a pretty good moisture level even since September. So, so that's really good. Okay, I'm getting along here, guys. Um, loving the new pipe. Love the shape. It's just like it's like a little scoop. Nice flat bottom, so it sits perfect. Not to worry about it tipping over. Nice big bowl for nice long smokes. Haven't even really gotten gotten past the top yet. But um, yeah, you guys take care and have a great weekend. Be excellent to one another. <laughs>